Jason Somak. To his outside, the St. Vitale Electric entry, the 44X is Devin Gordon. Inside row two, it's the Murray Cozy Trucking Beaver Truck Center 55 of Murray Cozy. Outside of him, the 4H is Grand Hall. Inside row three, the 30B is Darren Boychuk from Brandon. Paul Veert and the Veert Landscaping 88 starts eighth, or I'm sorry, sixth, that's outside of row three. Starting seventh, inside of row four, the double OD is David Delane. To his outside, the 12 is Tony Casey, sponsored by the Canadiana. Inside row five, Christopher Leak is the driver in the 17, and to his outside, the guy that raced the most Wazota shows in all the Wazota drivers last year in 2015. From Winnipeg, the 44 is Austin Hunter. Inside row six, the 37 is Roger Boisley, and to his outside, the 20 is Nick Odette. Inside row seven, Brandon Rehill in the 4B, and to his outside, the young lady that looked real good in the B main tonight, the 24, that's Victoria Stutsky. Inside row eight, the 95 is Ted Dole, and outside of Ted, the 16 is Brandon Loshinsky, another rookie. On the ninth row, that's uh, starting 17th, is the 91, another rookie, Dennis Grescu, and to his outside, Mark Kohankiewicz in the 22. Sponsored by Polar Industries, and I don't see him out there, or do I? Kind of hard to read that number. Oh yeah, there it is. Okay, we got him wheel to wheel heading into turn three. 15 laps showing on the AIE Bell scoreboard and Jason Somak brings him to the green. Here we go. Yellow flag for a car in turn three. Who won the 50-50? Donut Blay is your 50-50 winner, 320 bucks. Way to go, Donut. Is it Donut? Donut, like oh, N-A-T. Oh, Donut, oh, I'm sorry. D-O-N-A-T, Donut. Ah, okay. All right, winner, 320 bucks. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. We got two cars spi uh, spilled. <laughs> Spun in turn four. Thank you very much. So the 95. <laughs> the I'm aware. 95 of Ted Dole, that's who caused that yellow. I don't know where he's at. Is he over there with the, the young lady driving the 24 car? Huh, well, well, we got a moment then. Let me remind you about some of our signboard sponsors. They include Bison Fire Protection, Canadian Super Shop, Criticare EMS, Crown Bar and Poutine King, Dabs Repair, Destination Winnipeg, Dr. Hook Towing, Mr. Pierogi, Oakwood Roofing and Sheet Metal, Royal LePage Dynamic Real Estate, Chris Pennycook, The Bat Brewing Company, The Trophy Connection, Great Canadian Oil Change. At Mako, we're on the driver's side. Had a fender bender, rear ender, whatever. We'll work with you and MPI to turn the car you drive back into the car you love. You can trust us to fix every ding, every dent, every scratch. We've helped over 17 million drivers since 1972 and offer lifetime warranties on insurance repairs at all of our locations nationwide. So come to the body shop that's easy, affordable, reliable, and on your side. Mako, 
Canada's Body Shop at 983 Wall Street. From working hard to help support the family farm right here in the southeast to racing around the track on Formula One circuits throughout Europe, I know a thing or two about working hard and playing even harder. Hi, I'm race car driver David Rickert, inviting you to come on down to SAR in Steinbeck. Feast your eyes on the Slingshot, their first street licensed roadster type car. When it comes to the Slingshot, take a little advice from me. Put on your helmet and ride hard. Head to SAR, your local Slingshot dealer in Steinbeck. Hi Jennifer, nice to meet you. So, when are you due? I'm not pregnant. Oh. First impressions, they're important. And your driveway is the first thing people notice when they come to your home. Make a good first impression with Superior Asphalt Paving. If your impression of asphalt is basic black, think again. Superior can make your new or existing asphalt driveway any design or color you want. Visit superiorasphaltpaving.ca for your free estimate and make a lasting impression with Superior Asphalt Paving. All right, we got one of the cars involved over there uh, unhooked. I guess they're hooked together, and now uh, we have the 24 car of Victoria Stutsky sitting over there. We're not sure if she needs... Uh, is anyone over there with a the radio? Or We must have. we got got 100 radios. We want to remind the fans, of course, they can head down to the pit area following tonight's races, collect autographs from the drivers, and mix around there great place to be following the races a nice night like we've had so much cloud and rain over the past month or three weeks that it, uh, it's beautiful to see a blue sky and some sun it's amazing some fans were saying to me at intermission they were so surprised to see a track so dry when it's rained so much but the trick is that the water will run off the racetrack it's where it runs to that's the problem absolutely of course the back pit road is soft and the pit area in a lot of places you'll notice the bigger rigs like the late models with the full-size haulers are out on the gravel road so Obviously, they didn't want them to sink in the pit area, so it is kind of funny. It's uh, well, you know, dry on the track, but wet everywhere else. So, and the tr and the trucks can make it through there, but you know, you don't. Uh, dust and strand on a soft pit road like that tore the airlines off his yep. trailer. Lock the brakes up. Yeah, Balkan took the plumbing out from under his. You can rip exhaust off. Like you got to be careful. I mean, sure you do. Can you make it? Yeah. Will you leave parts behind? Possibly. Probably. And the race cars themselves are expensive enough. Never mind trying to fix yeah. the haulers. Don't go looking for trouble is the moral sure. of that story. And, and of course, when that happens, they can hold the show up too, right? So that's why they're using the gravel road. All right, the 24 cars in the infield. I guess she's unable to refire. So the pace truck sponsored by Winnipeg Dodge. That is the Hemi, by the way, and it's got a trick set of wheels and tires on it this year. Looking pretty neat. I think that's a new one this year. I think we get a new one every year. So we've been through the lineup. We've lost a couple, it looks like. Top 10 on the AIE Bell scoreboard. Pace truck, uh, unless I don't know of something coming up. One lap to green flag, so the pace truck will be pulling off. I wonder if that orange light on the top of that truck's got a flash button. You're talking about the pace truck? Yeah. I'm not sure. It's got an off button. It's off now. <laughs> right, but I think... Uh, you want to see some flash? I'm thinking. Sure. I mean, it's Look an in LED, the mirror like you're flashing. LED light, hey, well, <laughs> LED light bar, you know, let's turn it on. <laughs> well, good field of Midwest Modifieds here, no doubt about that. We've got 15 to go. And we got 17 cars. We tried, started with 18, we're down to 17, and we're back to green for Superior Paving.
Oh, we got a crash in turn two. St. Patel Electric 44 pulls into the infield. He may have been in there sooner, I don't know. Uh, talk about some signboard sponsors. I know you folks want to hear about some more of them. So exclusive bus lines, Fast Lane Freight Services, Fillmore Riley LLP, HB Electric, Interstate Batteries, IM, JMS Motorsports, LaSalle Insurance, Pepsi, Pioneer Window and Door Manufacturing, RM Auto Tech, Enzymes, TransTech Industries, and West Trans. I love that illuminated signboard fence is getting longer, and I think that's pretty slick. I mean, tonight, obviously, it's still kind of light, but when it gets dark, man, those things really jump out at you. You can get a hold of Carolyn Braid at our office if you'd like to get involved with the, what goes on out here at the Speedway, whether it be an illuminated front straightaway sign, a non-illuminated one, uh, whatever you think you might want to do, sponsor a race, a program, whatever you'd like, she can help you. She is the person that sells all these signs and... Uh, Keeps the revenue rolling is basically the long and the short of it. So I think we have four down and 11 to go. And we have eight minutes and 34 seconds on the clock. So, uh, you know, for those of you, I think today that most of you that are here are diehards. But uh, if you're not aware, when we get down to zero on that clock, if we have another yellow flag, then the lap counter, regardless of where it's at, will, on the restart, change to two. So a green flag, a white flag, and a checkered flag. <clears throat> Looks like we're, uh, are we good? So now we'll double them up. They want to get everyone in the right spot in a single line, which is much easier. And then get everyone to double up. Looks like we've got that handled. 11 laps up on the AIE. I'd say. Oh, the yellow flag's still out. So <laughs> Superior Paving, they do asphalt, concrete, paving stones, and they have availability, they have installation dates available for this month and July. So if you're thinking about doing it, give them a dingle. Superior Paving. You can uh, email pave at superiorasphaltpaving.ca. They've been around a long, long time, and they know their stuff. Keep them in mind. A great time of year to be sprucing up the driveway, the parking pad, whatever you have in mind. All right, we're going to try it again. Four down, 11 to go. The restart leader is Jason Somak, and he's got Beert on the high side in the 88, and the four, Grant Hall, right on his back bumper. Oh, boy. Yellow flag comes out again. So I don't know if that last one was Mark Kahekowicz's fault, but if it was, he'd be done. He'd get two yellows in one event and you're out of here. And I'm not sure if that's his first one or his second one, but in any case, he was certainly involved in that yellow flag incident. Boy, that uh, that restart was a good one. Paul Beard got right up and looked like he was gonna steal the lead from uh, Jason Somak, but Grant Hall back to the second spot with the yellow flag coming up. Number 91, that is Dennis Grescue. He's a rookie. That's sponsored by Advance Auto Service on McLeod in North Caldonan.
Okay, we're going to go again. Four down, so still 11 remaining. All right, we're all ready. Superior Paving is ready. All of our sponsors and cars are ready. Our fans are ready. Let's go racing. Leak on the outside in that 17 car. He is moving. He started in the ninth spot. He's challenging for fifth at the moment. Murray Cozy up on the high side and he challenges Grant Hall for the number three spot. Heading into turn number three. Murray Cozy on the high side, Hall on the bottom. Cozy's got the advantage. He's up to third spot. Your leader is Paul Veard in the Veard Landscaping 88. Murray Cozy looking real good in that 55. Veard doing a nice job. Austin Hunter moving by a couple of cars in turn four. Murray Cozy under attack now. Here comes Leak in the white 17. And the 30B, that is Darren Boychuk. They have got the wick up and they're coming after Murray Cozy in the 55. Here comes Leak off the corner. Twenty-two spins in turn two. one way off the pace on the front straightaway. He's trying to limp it into the pit area, it looks like. Paul Beard with five to go as your leader. Murray Cozy is third. And the Leaks 17 has got the heat on him here. Comes the 30 of Boychuk once again. And Austin Hunter in the 44. Right now, the 55 of Murray Cozy has the fourth, third, fourth spot right now. Oh, there he goes back to third. What a race. Wow. Cozy up on the high side with three to go. A leak on the inside. Now the 44 of Austin Hunter puts himself up to the five, number five spot. He closes in on Anthony, or I'm sorry, the uh, 17 of Christopher Leak. Next time by, white flag for Paul Veert. One more to go. Murray Cozy doing a real nice job in that 55. He's gonna make a play for second place right now as they come off the back straightaway. Not quite enough. Your leader in the number 88 car. How about a hand for your winner? Paul Beert. Second spot goes to Jason Somak. Third to the 55 of Murray Cozy. Murray doing a real nice job. He started third and stayed there. Uh, fourth spot goes to the 17 of Christopher Leak. And unofficially fifth goes to the 30 of Boychuk. So Paul Beert starts sixth and gets the checkered flag, our first Castrol Edge Midwest Modified main event for the 2016 season.
Mark Kahekowicz. But spun there in turn two again. and uh, Looked like he was moving there for a minute, but the, I mean, it's kind of, they, they're told at the driver's meeting, if you go around on your own, get going on your own. If you had help, well, you get spun around, we'll make a decision. But if you get around on your own, you got to get going, if at all possible. And if he was unable to restart, that's unfortunate. But that's how it goes. We're going down front right now to the victory lane. We're going to get Paul Beard down front here. He's sponsored by Gusta Sod Farms. Case High Track. Beard Landscaping. And you'll see Paul back out here in a little bit in his late model. He runs a B mod, as you can see, and he will be back out here with his late model here in just a little bit. But he did a nice job of that when he started sixth and got the checkered flag. And we'll get him out of that race car right now, and we'll get him up on the stage for an interview with Darren Pallon. And we'll get on with our next event. Once again, thank you to Superior Paving. They do asphalt, concrete, and paving stones. Hey, there's your winner. How about a big hand for Paul Beert in the 88 car? Come on up here, Paul. We're ready for you. Darren, we'll turn things over to you. Thanks very much, Pat Mooney. A big win by Paul Veert in the case number 88, also sponsored by Veert Landscaping. Well, you shook the rust off quick and did a great job. That's got to feel good, winning the first one. Feels great. Actually, we were in Greenbush on Saturday night, did the same thing, clean sweep. All right, well, it's a good start to the 2016 season. Can you win two championships? Well, give it a try. All right. How about it, Paul Veert, ladies and gentlemen, winner in the Midwest Modified Division here tonight. Pat? Thank you, Darren. Congratulations to Paul Veer. A job well done from sixth place to the winner's circle. While our street stocks are lined up on the back straightaway, our street stocks, of course, sponsored by the Winnipeg Free Press. And here's how they line up in a car that's for sale. And I was shocked to find out how reasonable this